So what we've got here is uh, two brand new Yamaha pianos the, uh, from the CP range, so the CP88, CP73. The 88 is obviously an 88 note graded piano action uh, with real wooden keys and the 73 is uh, E to E, uh, 73 notes and uh, much more like an electric piano sort of feel. These two, these two instruments are very much sort of uh, aimed at the piano player and the electric piano player. That's where most of the sounds are. And the gigging musician, the guy who wants to, uh, guy or girl who wants to take it out on the road, they're, they're light enough to, and portable enough to, to carry around. Um, but also, just to have them at home, they're very nice and tactile, and you can get sounds very quickly and, and create sounds on the fly, which is pretty nice. In here, there's a lot of grand piano samples. Um, the first one being the Yamaha CFX, which is Yamaha's own uh, top of the range uh, grand piano, I think it's nine foot. It's a, it's a very expressive piano. So um, it's, it was built and designed to, um, to play along with orchestras. So it's very tactile and, and, uh, and beautiful when you play it quiet, but when you actually hit it hard, it will cut through almost anything. And second in there is a beautiful Bösendorfer, the uh, Imperial 290. So they've sampled a big nine and a half foot handmade Bösendorfer. Uh, I believe they're, they're like 90 odd notes, so there's longer and uh, more notes at the bottom and the top. Very large in, in its harmonic, and so uh, it's a big sounding instrument, which is fantastic playing on its own. But after that, there's a, a sound in there that was came from the uh, S90ES called the S700. And this was a very popular sound because it was the opposite, where it's quite a small, thinner sound. And therefore you can play it along with bands and you can play it along uh, in a mix if you're in the recording studio and it doesn't fill out everything. It can sit amongst things. So they're, I mean, they're the top three in there that I use uh, and the great sounding, great sounding pianos. But with all the sounds on this uh, on these new CPs, the uh, one of the main points about it is that you can change them almost immediately and on the fly. So you can dial in reverb, you can dial in compression, or in some of the cases, you know, if you wanted to add um, like a, a distortion effect or something. On all these sounds it's always at your fingertips to just jump in and affect the sound, add delays and things. You might just start with one sound, one of the samples, say the CFX, you can change that through so many different ways um, without even changing from the sample. So in here as well, there are some, there's two upright samples which are fantastic and not enough keyboards have uprights for me. And uh, so the first one being the U1, which is Yamaha's own piano, which is one of the best selling pianos in the world. And what they've done is they've uh, actually sampled it, sampled a piano that's been lived with, you know, so it's not, it's not completely in tune, it's got width, it's got, um, it's got a bit of life to it, and it feels like it's been moved into a room and then recorded some time later. It's a, it's a beautiful um, sounding instrument. And then after that, they've got the SU7, which is Yamaha's uh, top of the range. It very much is built like the, uh, the, uh, the CFX, I, I believe. After the uprights, there's the CP section, which is, uh, there's a two CP80 sounds, which is a 76, 1976 keyboard from Yamaha. It's a very distinctive sound. It's somewhere between that, that acoustic piano sound and an electric piano. 
Uh, very distinctive, you'll heard it on a lot of Keen stuff. Um, uh, Phil Collins used it on everything, um, uh, Genesis and Elton John. Uh, and this is one that you can really start to add the insert effects like the choruses and the distortions and get some amazing effects. So in our next block, we've got the electric pianos. And uh, there's some amazing samples in here, which is uh, your tined instruments and your reed electric pianos from the 70s and the 60s. And then there's the clavies, which is very much the superstition type sounds, very funky. And then you've got the DX7 sounds from the 80s. Um, the the, uh, the timed ones are great. You can add drive, like you're putting it through a twin or another sort of uh, amp. And again, you've got the, the tremolos, the auto pans. Um, there's a ring modulator. There's lots of choruses and phases, and these all work great on all the electric piano range. And then as you move on, you've got the 60s reed pianos, which are a bit more bitey, uh, super tramp type style. And then the clavs, which you can put through a touch wire or even through a pedal, so you can actually uh, pedal away as you go. And then the DX7, again, uh, great for those um, 80s sort of uh, ballads. Whack the choruses up and, and the sound changes and wh the width gets incredible, actually. So in the third category, it's called subcategory, there's uh, just lots of different sounds that might become useful for a player from from pads to strings to Hammond organs. Uh, there are a lot of percussive instruments as well, like xylophones and vibraphones. And then there's also a whole section of synth leads and uh, guitars and uh, acoustic basses. And it's just uh, to try and give the performer a bit of everything so they can go and find a sound. And, and with all these sounds, you can do split points, which is fantastic for having just the bass down one end and then a piano at the top and create your performance around that. Down at the end of the keyboard, there's what we call the master effects area, where you have the delay and you have the reverbs, and actually there's a, a master EQ as well. And what this is, is um, you, can, you can send different amounts of delays and different amounts of reverbs from each of the sections. So you can say, I want tons of reverb on the pianos, but I want nothing on the sub, or I want nothing, I want tons of uh, echo effect on the electric piano section, but I want my pianos to be dry. And with this, you can actually dial in and dial out different sections and create your own sound and your own uh, backdrop of, of noise around what you're playing. And it's, it's a very hands-on thing. Uh, you can almost get like, the Pink Floyd type uh, um, delays, like repeating over themselves. And uh, it's, it's something that's very, very cool to, um, to help you create and, and sit down. And you don't know what you're actually going to play necessarily, but it's, it can be fun. So, so far what we've really just shown is just the, the sounds that the piano can make on their own. But of course, these are the, you know, one of the best bits about this piano is the blending that you can do. And you can turn on an uh, electric piano, you can turn it off, you can dial it in, you can dial it out, you can add delays and, and different things to each of the sections. But although we talk about these sections as being the three separate ones, they're also, you're not limited on that. What you can do is you can take, say for example, you can put it in advanced mode and you can put piano down each of the three. So then you can have one piano uh, at the first octave, another one octave above, and you can make those big sort of cold play type, um, type pianos. And, or you can have delays on one area and not on the other. It's a, it's a very useful tool for getting even more out of the, the instrument.
So with this, with these two new CPs, Yamaha for the first time are going to have an upgradable OS. And what this is going to happen is they will bring out new sounds and they will bring out new presets. And when you download the new OS, all these things will appear into the, into the keyboard you've already bought. There's also um, the Sound Mondo app, which this is now uh, working for, which is great for producers to share and save sounds. And if you're the live player, you can turn up anywhere in the world and download the sounds that you've already created to, your, to any of the CPs that you rented or, or bought. So there's also a two-in, two-out sound card, which is incredibly handy for the producer and the live musician. So the producer might, for example, be able to record MIDI anywhere that you, you know, on the fly, in a hotel room, uh, and also audio of the piano straight in. Um, for the live player, you could, you could plug up your main stage, one USB in, and you then have everything from your, that you got in the piano, but everything else as well. And it's just such a simple solution to, uh, to get everything that you might need in a live situation. Thank you.